Hi everyone, my name is Belinda and I run a blog called Ink and Bullet. I'm just doing a quick review on two pens, fountain pens, which I purchased off AliExpress. Um, I've purchased a few before, um, but these are the first, uh, these types of pens are the first time I've purchased them. So I just wanted to show everyone um, how they compare, say, to a Twisby. So I use fountain pens a lot. Uh, this is a Twisby. Um, Twisby Eco and this goes for about $40 and so I purchased on AliExpress um, I guess a comparison pen or one that's trying to be Twisby and this one was $6 so I just thought I'd compare them to a normal fountain or a, uh, I guess a branded fountain pen and um, also just show you how you would fill them and my general thoughts Okay, so um, like I said, this one was $6. Um, it's called Lanbitu, if you can see that. Um, and it looks really similar to the Twisby. Um, right down to the little red cap. But um, just holding them, you can just sort of tell straight away the quality of the plastic's not as good. It's a bit lighter. It doesn't feel as sturdy. Um, the clip, although a metal clip as well as the Twisby, it just feels, I guess, a little bit tinnier. But it was $6, so I'm not complaining about it really. Uh, twist cap as well, just like the Twisby. Twist cap. Um, now you don't get an option of a nib, so this one comes with a, well it says a fine nib, there's an F on the nib. Um, yeah, so you just get what it comes with. And you can post the lid like a Twisby. There's like a little rubber rim around here um, of the pen. And so you, when you post the lid, it just sort of snaps in or glides in and it gets stuck on that rubber lip. Um, so yeah, it feels pretty nice. Okay, so um, the Twisby and, like, and this pen too is, they're called piston fill. So you just turn the little, there's like a dial, you turn the end of the pen and that's how it fills up. So it's a piston filled pen. So you don't need um, cartridges or a converter. Um, to fill this you basically dip it into the ink and load the ink just by winding it so it's a really convenient way to use a fountain pen because you're not constantly having to change out cartridges or um, use converters so that's why I love piston filled pens and particularly the Twisbees okay so I'm gonna have a go filling this So to fill this, I'm just going to, hmm, I'm probably gonna use my black ink in the pink one. So I just use um, De Atramentis Black, Document Ink Black. I really love this ink, so I'm just gonna fill it with that. Okay, so first you need to put it all the way down when you're filling um, this. Just move these ones out of the way. Okay, dip it in to the ink and then you twist to start filling. And this one, this pen has, I don't know if you heard that, but it does a little click when you filled it or when you're at the end, which I actually quite like. The Twisbees don't do that and so I mean, it's not essential, but I like that, you know, you've gotten to the end and it clicks. So for a maybe a first time user of a fountain pen or someone who's not sure, I think that's quite a nice feature. All right, so the ink's in there now. And I'll just have a go writing and see how this writes. Just wait for the ink to load. So it'll be going through the feeder right now, the plastic feeders. All 
All right, so it just took a little while to get the ink flowing, um, which can happen because it has to go through the feeder and all the grooves. I just started um, pressing a bit harder on the nib just to get that flow through. All right, so I'm just doing some writing. I mean, it feels pretty good. There's no scratchiness to the nib, which um, sometimes with those cheap fountain pens, you can get that. Or if like just the, um, like the tines aren't aligned, which are the two parts of the nib that come together to form the point. Um, I mean, it's okay. Here's my Wisby as a comparison. I mean, this is so smooth, the Twisby, the ink just comes out. I'm using my Pilot ink in this, my favorite ink. Um, it's about the same nib thickness. I would say probably a bit thinner. I mean, for what it is, $6, it's still pretty good. Um, if I had a choice, I probably would have liked um, a thicker nib. So this is a fine, um, which is generally a standard size. People generally go with fine. Um, yeah, because it's usually, and then sometimes even extra fine if you like a thin line. I use fine um, with most of my Twisbees. All right, so that one's okay. Um, might just need the ink to run through it a bit more, I'm not sure. Okay, so the other one I got, the other pen here. Okay, this was called a Wing Sung. <laughs> and this one was $6.36. Uh, it came in all sorts of colours. Blue with silver, blue with gold, purple, pink. Yeah, it was just a whole range. Um, the barrel of this one is not smooth and round. It is um, like rigid, if you, can, if you can see. And I don't know if I would have purchased that or purchased this had I known that because um, the, the way you hold the pen, it is round, so it's comfortable. Um, but if you, I guess if you hold the pen quite high, that might bother you, I'm not sure. Also piston filled. Um, so again, you're just turning this little dial. Um, I'm going to fill this one with blue ink. I got this ink also off um, AliExpress, uh, just called Hero Ink. All right, so this one also is in a fine nib. I um, don't know if you can see that. All right, so I'm just going to load the ink. So sticking it in and I'm just going to start turning again. And this one also clicks once you've got the ink loaded. All right, so I'll just see about getting this one out. Okay, so the ink came out much faster with this pen. Straight away, pretty much. Yeah. So this pen is much better, the nib. Um, the flow is almost instant. And it just actually writes quite nice. Yeah, so this pen, this Wingsung, is actually quite a nice pen to write with. Um, obviously, I still prefer my Twisbees or my quality fountain pen, but for $6, I can't really complain about this one. Maybe a bit disappointed with this one. I might just need to fine tune it, I'm not sure. It's just the ink doesn't seem to be flowing as nice. Might need to just separate the twines a bit. Okay, see, so that actually even helped just doing that. 
So I just bent down on the twines a little bit and that's starting to flow. I may have bent them a bit too far though. <laughs> but yeah, for six bucks, I'm not gonna cry. Yeah, see, so that's writing a little bit better. Just um, increase the ink flow there. Yeah, much better. But yeah, those are the two pens that I bought. Uh, pretty happy with those, I would say. For six dollars, you can't go wrong. Just good to have some pens around the house or, you know, studies or whatever. Yeah, so those are my reviews. Two pens off AliExpress, um, a Lan B2 and a Wing Sung, both about $6. Okay, thank you.